whole time <laughs> smoke <laughs> ready. <laughs> <laughs> And listen, man, this is what we do. We we help somebody. <laughs> Ali said, I'm so pretty. Okay, one more time. Here we go. Ready? All right. Facebook, live in action. We're ready this time. Have you been dealing with worry, fear, doubt, depression, marital problems, addiction of any kind, any affliction? Have you been hurt in ministry, what we call church hurt, almost the worst hurt? Is your faith wavering or simply have you lost faith? You just tuned into the right channel. Welcome to the ER and Primer Christian Talk Radio. I'm your host, Reverend Ed Schaefer, pastor of First Baptist Church of Robbinsville, and we have a show for you. Amen. Come on, say to break every break every chain. Break every chain. Break every There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. Again, I'm your host, Reverend Ed Schaefer, and we have an awesome show for you today. Welcome to the ER, Empowerment Christian Talk Radio. And before I get started, let me give you a phone number so that you can call in. Our area code is 609-807-2492. Again, 609-807-2492. Call in and, uh, and join the show. We are the ER. And uh, again, we are one of the baddest shows in the land. <laughs> amen, 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 amen. Before we get started, I have some awesome, awesome people that I want to introduce you to. I, and to my right, your left, I want to introduce to you. The woman, the awesome reverend, she is a, what we call, the radio host called Dr. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's going to bring him on a little later on. You're going to hear about it. <laughs> reverend Doris Warner. It's a pleasure, and I'm so glad to be here today. You're going to bring mm -hmm. Dr. Jesus on today? You oh, yes. Preach? Yes, yes. Reverend Warner likes to sneak a preach every now and then, but that's okay. <laughs> and listen to me. To my right. The R in the ER. One of the baddest men in the land. He's on the super host. An awesome reverend. We call him the right reverend. And if you don't know what that was, go back to about eight shows ago and I explained it. He do what's right. My partner, Reverend Robert Cleveland. Amen. 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 Can, can you hear me? Because oh, I can't I'm, hear yeah, myself. Yeah, we hear you. We hear oh, you. Okay. Um, I'm blessed to be here. Looking forward to the show. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the show as well. And our Reverend Cleveland, who do we have here today? Well, today we have with us Elder Charles Carter of the Fighting for Christians Ministry in Burlington, New Jersey. Uh, earlier, we had his wife on. Mm -hmm. Oh, and awesome. as we like we were saying earlier, that <laughs> awesome. her she testimony was, awesome. was was so awesome that. We replayed it on Mother's Day. Yes. Amen. It was very inspiring. Reverend Cynthia Carter. Amen. And so right now we're looking forward to hearing from the husband, Charles Carter. Welcome, mm -hmm. Elder. Thank you for having me, first of all. I want to thank you, uh, uh, um, Pastor Schaefer here, and to uh, Pastor and, excuse me, Reverend and uh, Minister and uh, have, thank you for having me. Amen. First Amen. of all, I, um, that opening song was such a blessing because it's time for chains to be broken. Come on now. Okay. Um, I just want to share a little testimony from things that I've been through. Um, I had a little bout with drugs, and um, I kind of lost my way. I was saved, but I lost my way. I fell into the, that big demon that cracked the uh, cocaine, and uh, it took me away from my family. Um, you know, I had uh, been tricked and in my mind where I thought um, I had no addiction, that I was in control of it all. But, you know, as soon as you think you're in control of anything, you find out real fast that you don't have control. That's right. That's right. You know, um, it took me to, to a place where I had never been 
when I wound up being homeless because I left my family. Mm-hmm. I left them, you know, without anything. Mm-hmm. I, I wasn't sending them money. My money was going to the man, mm-hmm. you know. And um, I lived on the streets. And as you start hitting bottom, you start realizing that Jesus is the way to go. Right. Um, I had to hit bottom, bottom. Okay, and um, it's funny how how God can even use your worst situations to bring you back to him. Yes. Because I, I know I, I went into places um, into in Philadelphia. I was like out in Bartram Village and in West Philadelphia. But um, I gone into a couple of hit houses and. People were talking about Jesus. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, you, come on now. <laughs> the girls whose house it was, she she said, we, we got to have prayer before we start doing what we do. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> I could not wow. imagine this. Wow. Come you on. Know, and I'm like saying, could you, you know, be quiet and go somewhere? I don't want to hear about Jesus right now. Yeah, that's right. You know, um, so, you know, we got high. And you know, and then as I went places, a couple of other places, a, a guy I was staying with, him, him and his mom, and his mom said, you know, Charlie, she said, you don't fit in here. Uh-oh, come on now. Mm. She said, you don't fit in here. You, you know, you were the one that was keeping everybody from doing this. Mm. And now you're here, and everybody's going double as strong as they were going before. She said, um, get in that other room and go call your, call your, your wife. But um, I was too much of a co- coward to call my wife. I, I called my mom. <laughs> 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 and um, my mom said, you know, um, she, my mom was never judgment. She'll, she talked to you. Mm-hmm. She said, boy, you know, your, your family needs you. You got them boys up there. Your family don't have no money, no, no food to eat. You, you run in the streets. Call your wife and go back. You know, so um, I called my wife finally, and my wife told me, she said, um, <laughs> she said, I'll take you back, but you're going to a rehab because I'm not having this no more. You know, I'm not going to have no drug addict around my kids. Mm. You know, and I said, um, we'll see about that. So what I did was um, I called my, uh, my brother, and he sent his daughter to pick me up. And I went to his house with my little Bible, mm-hmm. locked myself in the room, and I prayed myself through it. Mm-hmm. And God mm-hmm. delivered me with just the prayer and locking myself in the room. Mm-hmm. You know, some people have to go to get delivered, right. but God delivered me. Amen. And Amen. Um, Amen. when God delivers you, it's... it's um, I always wanted to, you know, if I, I always said, God, if you can deliver me, I want to be able to go around it mm-hmm. and have it not affect me. Yes, right. yes. You know, because now I know, then I know I'm, I am, you know, done with it. Mm-hmm. And um, God delivered me. He delivered the taste out of my mouth. Come and on. I just praise God for it because he also took cigarettes, marijuana, mm-hmm. and alcohol, mm-hmm. you know, and... Um, it's a big thing, you know, for me, because um, I went nowhere without alcohol before I even started doing anything. Mm. I had to have a, 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 a cooler in my trunk. Mm. I was the out the drinking man. <laughs> I had to have me a drink, a drink and some, uh, some gin, mm. a bottle of gin, mm. everywhere I went. Right. But when God delivers you, um, he delivers you totally. That's right. Yes, Amen. yes. That's right. Amen. And I praise God for for God and how He did it. And I also praise God for my wife, my wife of forty three years, who Amen. who Amen. decided that she would, you know, pray for me during these times, mm-hmm. even though she really didn't want to. <laughs> she she prayed. God convicted her to pray for me, and you know. God is just, it has just has been so good since we've been back together. Mm. And um, our marriage is just, it's, it, it's so blessed now. 
you know, yeah. that more than you can ever believe. And mm -hmm. yes, we have our ups and downs. I'm not going to sit here and say we don't, you know, have our, our little arguments and our little spats, but right. it's, you know, it's different. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't, we don't go to the extreme where we used to go. Mm -hmm. we're, we're never really thinking about um, leaving, mm -hmm. you know, per, to say, but, you know, she always has an ear, you know, for me, and I try to have an ear for her even sometimes when I try to go to my old ways, right. you know. Um, and I just praise God for what I have. I, I have four children, and and, um, and I raised one of my nephews, mm -hmm. and they all turned out good. They're all doing very well now. Yes. And, you know, it, it, it all comes into a praying wife, you know. Um, she prayed for me. She prayed. She was on her knees all the time. Even when I said, you know, what are you doing? She was on her knees. She was praying. And um, I just thank God for it. Amen. Amen. Because he's a good God. Amen. Amen. Wow. You said a few things that, you know, just <laughs> first thing you talked about was how the trickery comes about the enemy. You know, yes. this is the ER. So, you know, in Primary Christian Talk Radio, we're trying to help someone. And, and the trickery came in when you say you thought I'm in control, and that's the first that's the first mistake yeah. that any of us make. Once we say that I I I always gets us in trouble, you know. Uh, and, and, and but this is really what I love. You said everywhere you went, no matter <laughs> where you went, <laughs> God was talking to you. Mm -hmm. You know, it was on a street in a crack house. No matter where you went, God. Listen, revealed you to other people talking about you listen. And that's really that's almost unheard of because yes. you know what? You don't belong here. Yeah. The only way that you never belong in those type of situations mm -hmm. is when you was out of money. You understand what I mean? Yes. <laughs> but when you you know what I mean, when you go there and you have money and they tell you you don't belong here, that's God. Right. That's God. That's right. That's God. So, you know, I, I have a question. Every time you went somewhere and you heard someone say something like that, how did you feel? Well, it 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 deters you. It, you it, it, it slows you down from where you want to go, mm -hmm. and um, it makes you think. And you know, once somebody, if you're trying to get high, right, and somebody start talking about the Lord, come on, you know, the Lord's taking that taste that that high <laughs> from you. Right. <laughs> You right. can do whatever you want to do, right. uh -huh. and it's, it's just not going to be anything. So, you, you know, you get angry, and you, and you just leave. Right. Man. You know, Amen. but, um, you know, it's, it's just funny. And even after all of that, you know, before I, I decided to go home, I hit really hit rock bottom, mm -hmm. where I decided I was going to take myself out. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and... Um, you know, I I had a pretty good job where I had cash flowing in every day, <laughs> and uh, so I went. I got me a fifth of Jack Daniels. I went and got some sleeping pills, and I went and spent the rest of my money on a package. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, my intention was to get high, take all of these pills, drink this fifth of, uh, of Jack Daniels, and uh, you know they could read about me in the paper. Mm -hmm. But God. But God. But God. But God. I really took all of those pills. Nobody believes I took all of those pills. Mm, but God. I took that whole <laughs> bottle of pills and I drank three quarters of that bottle. And I smoked up my whole package. I walked around for two days. I didn't know what happened in those two days. Mm -hmm. But I'm still here. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Wow. Amen. I'm still here. Wow. Still standing. So, um, you know, it's like a divine protection, mm -hmm. not like a divine, it's divine it protection. Right. Right. You know, when God has something for you, you, you can't run away from it. Some kind of how it's going to come to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or God's going to have to break you down. Amen. Amen. And trust me, you don't want God to break you down. No, no, you, don't want <laughs> you don't want God no, to no, break you down that. because that's a breaking down. And um, it's a shame. I, I, I look at my life and it's a shame that I had to go to the bottom to really get the message, but sometimes people have to go to the bottom. Well, you went where you needed to go. Where right, to right, go. right. Because there was no, there was going to be no other way right. to, to get your attention. God was right. going to take me out. 
Right. But, um, right. you know, what I would want to say to anybody out there, if you're struggling, if you're struggling, find yourself somebody. Or put yourself in an area where you can speak to a, a, a God-fearing minister, a God-fearing pastor. Mm -hmm. you, it, it's got to be a God-fearing person, you know, somebody that's open to share um with you somebody that's open to give you the true way yes. that you need to go and um and because that's the only way out it's the only way out of of uh you know and now it the uh, it's got crazy because now they have ice and the opioids and right. all of that kind and of stuff kind of out stuff. there right. you yeah. know these people need help yeah i i, I just wanted to share this with yes. um the audience and uh, something that you said that was, for me, that's very powerful. And this is for their family member who um, is hurting and, um, you know, and you see your loved one out there lost. Uh, something that you said, and, and like I said, this is the ER. We want to help people. Yes. Uh, you said that, you know, Sister Carter, Minister Carter, you said that your wife stayed on her knees mm -hmm. and continuous prayer. So I want to I wanna encourage uh, a mother, a, a father, a, a sister, a wife, a husband, a cousin, a, a neighbor, that if you see somebody who is struggling and is going through it, don't think that God, don't think that he's not answering or going to answer your prayers. Stay That's on your right. knees. That's right. Amen. That's Stay right. on your knees. Mm -hmm. And, and, and keep 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 your loved ones covered because, right, they can't cover themselves. Mm -mm. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. That's right. And they say, you know, there's nothing like a praying grandmother. It's not nothing like anyone praying for anybody. That's right. Mm -hmm. Don't give up on anybody. That's right. That's if there's somebody that's out there and they're struggling, at least get, at least, at least, the, and that, that's the most, get on your knees and pray for them. That's right. If you can't help them, if you can't bring them in your house, get on your knees and pray for them. God will cover them. You know, um, sometimes it's not always the way you want it to be. That's but right. God That's will right. cover them. That's right. right. Yeah, you know, um, mm -hmm. and um, I, I just, I, I thank God because even when I thought I wasn't coming back, because um, me and my wife went through some very serious things before I got strung out. And um, I knew there was no way I was, I didn't think there's no way I'd be back with her. Mm -hmm. I really didn't. You know, I called her and I spoke with her, but I didn't think it was going to work out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, but, um, you know, when God, if, if God is really working on you, God is going to deal with that person also. That's right. Mm -hmm. Where he wants you to go, he's going to deal with that also. Come right, on now. right, right, That's right. So when you're ready, and sometimes you just have to be ready. And sometimes you don't think you're ready and you start responding to God in a way that you don't even realize you're responding to God. Right. And you start doing things. And next thing you know, you're at a place. And mm -hmm. that's what I hear in your story. Yes. You're at a place where you can now go to your wife. Mm -hmm. And then God, see, while God was working on you, he was working on her. That's right. Mm -hmm. So That's when, right. when both of you were ready, he brought you all back together yeah. That's right. so that you can then move forward in the ministry and what God had for you yes. for right now. See, you were saying uh, not going, something about going through what you went through. You went through what you went through then so that now you can give a testimony and bless somebody Thank who Jesus. might be listening to this radio program That's today, right. thinking about giving up, thinking about nobody cares, and, some, and you let them know God still cares and yeah. God still loves you. That's and right. also to give the testimony of people who have loved ones strung out on That's drugs. That's right. Come on. Mm -hmm. That what they uh, the only thing they need to do is keep praying to God That's keep right. God in front That's keep right. praying and lifting up their loved ones because by and by they're going to hear from God and yeah. things yeah. are going to slowly start changing yeah. maybe not overnight they may relapse a couple times right. but yeah. only thing God is calling us to do is keep praying keep praying yeah. just keep right. praying even if we don't see the light in the tunnel That's right. and the, or the tunnel is dark keep praying yeah. 
And God will respond to the prayer if we keep praying. Our loved ones will hear. Not only will they hear, they'll respond. That's right. That's right. Stay in position. That's there right. Might, Stay in position. There may be somebody that's a little stronger than you that may be out there. God can send them to minister to them. Right, and, right. Um, and sometimes, you know, a lot of times we can't get through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, they don't want to hear it from us. Right. You know, but they, God will send somebody to them that they, where the way they can receive it from where they are. Oh, absolutely. Right, right. And, absolutely he um, will. Yeah. When you're in that, you know, sometimes it's, it's shame. Mm-hmm. It's the shame and 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 of course pride mm-hmm. because you you never want to go back to anybody down, mm-hmm. but um, as God knows, you can't fix yourself. That's right. right. That's right. You can't get yourself to stop the, uh, what you're doing. So it's a better for you to find somebody that's willing to help you where you are mm-hmm. in your drunken or drugged up state. That's right. To to help you out of that. Yes. Because that's what somebody needs. Somebody that, that's going to not just sit there and yell, you know, you're no good. Right. And, you, know, you need somebody to love them through. Mm-hmm. Right? Because it's a sickness. It's, yes. it's just like anything else. It's a sickness. And yes. you, you need help bringing yourself through. And different people react different ways. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, um, mm-hmm. and the other thing is that person's got to be ready. Mm-hmm. In your mind, you have to be ready. You have to be at the end of your road mm-hmm. where you are at a spot where you're ready to stop. Right. If you're not, if that person is still has that taste, that that taste of that demon in them, they're not going to just drop it because you're saying something good. That's why you have to continually pray. Mm-hmm. You have to pray. You pray and pray and pray, and then God takes the taste out. Right. Allow him to right. take that taste out. Yes. Let them get to that point where they call out for some kind of help. And, and, you know, and, and that's what it is. I, I like the part where, um, especially we're talking about addiction, you, you, you said that uh, you had to hit rock bottom. And I, I, need, to, I need to put this out there. Uh, y'all know this old statement, you can take a horse to water, mm-hmm. but you can't make them drink. Mm-hmm. That's right. Well, I, I, there's another part I wanted to add to this, but you can make them real thirsty. Mm-hmm. And, and, and the reason why I say that is, you know, we can't sit around and enable Yes. You know, because when you become an enabler, what you're doing is you're feeding, you're feeding the disease, you're feeding mm-hmm. the person, and you, you're not making them thirsty. Mm-hmm. You know, but when you say enough is enough, you know, like 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 Minister Carter said, listen, you come here, but you you going to rehab because mm-hmm. I'm not putting up with this. Yeah, you understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now, I, I t- now she's taking the horse to the water. You might not be drinking, but it's gonna make you thirsty. That's right. You know, mm-hmm. it's gonna make you thirsty. So mm-hmm. I I, I want to share this with people. Like you know what. You, you're enabling me, but you, 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 you're you crippling. It's, <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, but mm-hmm. you, you have mm-hmm. to listen. You got to make them real thirsty. Sometimes yeah. you just got to let them, you, they have to fall, but you got to stay in prayer for your family yes. members. You know, stop bringing them in the house because every time, if they if they rob from you 50 times, what make you think the 51st, the, yes. you know, the number 51 is going to be any different? Yes. <laughs> right, it's, it's, right. You know, uh-huh. You know, you you hoping like, I'm get on my knees and pray and let him back in. No, God ain't tell you to do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God says, stay on your knees and let me make the difference. Yes. Right, mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, yes. and that's what it was. I didn't. I was not able to come home. I okay, here we with, go. I stayed Help with. Somebody. I stayed with my brother for what is another three three months or maybe longer. Mm-hmm. You know, God had to deal with me to make sure that I was right. Amen. Mm-hmm. And, Amen. Um, you know, she said, she told me out and out. She said, I love you, but um, you're not coming home because um, we have four children. And um, the things that I didn't know is that um, where I was dealing from my house, I, I thought I was protected and nobody knew anything. Right. But here I am, I'm buying drugs for my kids' friends. <laughs> They never told me until after, you know, when I came home Mm -hmm. and and after everything was done Uh because I sat them down and I explained it to them. Mm -hmm. I explained what I wanted to, what I went through because I did not want them to go through it. That's important. Mm -hmm. And they said to me, she said, said, Dad, I I know what she was doing because, you know, you know, I was with so-and-so and so-and-so and 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 they told me, they they were telling me when they sold to you. Mm. And, you know, that, that was a shock. 
you, you, you know, because I, I had no idea that anybody knew. <laughs> I thought I was keeping this big, great secret, uh, uh, and, except for my wife mm. when she caught me from time to time. Right. You know, but my kids knew. Right. You know, and um, I, I just, I, I, and I thank God because, you know, having that conversation and being open with them, um, let them see. They saw something. They saw vulnerabil vulnerability mm -hmm. from their dad. And I believe that that kept them all. Right. You know, right. it, it, it kept them all away from that. Yeah. I, you, and it's funny that you said that they knew. But I, I, need to, I need to put this out there and share this with everyone, that um, any sin that you think you're getting away with... <laughs> you're not. You're not. People know. <laughs> really. You know what I mean? You, you think... Yeah. Listen, people know. Yes. You, you're, 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 you know, you're not cloak and dagger. Right. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. You people know. Mm -hmm. So, listen... If you think you're hiding it and you, you don't want to tell nobody, listen, confess, open up, move forward, mm -hmm. because you, you will hurt yourself in the long yes. run. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's, this reminds me of what my mom used to say when I thought I was sneaking around doing <laughs> something. She always say, see, you think you're two-bit slick, but I always caught everything you was doing. Now, I never understood what two-bit slick mean, but I knew it <laughs> meant that I couldn't get nothing over on my mom. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so, yeah, like you said, it's... <laughs> There's no need trying to hide it. Right. That's right. You know, yeah. it's, it's out there. Deal with it. You Dress. know what I mean? Um, we ain't got to be broadcasting our sins all over the place, but ain't no need in thinking that you're hiding because you ain't hiding nothing from God, and that's the that's main right. thing. That's the main thing. And he's going to let you get thing. away for that little while. Right. Then then he starts uncovering mm -hmm. and, 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 and uncovering, and he uncovers more and more and more, you know, right. uh, um, you know, to to the ones that you love, and unfortunately, those are the ones that get hurt mm -hmm. in the, in the the first mm -hmm. interim. Because uh, mm -hmm. um, I I know when my wife would run down and come where I didn't think she was going to come, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? To walk, you know, be doing something that I wasn't supposed to be doing, right. or I, you know. And um, finally, she just got fed up, and um, she said, "You got to go." There you go. Can I ask you this question now? Yes. Uh, you know, I don't know any eloquent way to say it, so I'm just going no, to ask. How did you, you go from smoking crack to preaching the gospel? <laughs> now, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a real good one. That's a real good one because um, I got involved in the church. And um, as I came back, I was always into music. Right. Uh, I was a DJ for a long time, you know, um, from back in New York when I where I came from, mm -hmm. and um, I uh, hooked up with my pa my first pastor, and he let me, you know, um, do my thing. They didn't have a choir, mm -hmm. so I was playing the CDs, you know, for praise and worship. Right. And it got so blessed <laughs> that I started getting, you know, little jobs and doing things like that mm -hmm. and ministering through music. Amen. Oh. And Come on. as I was, you know, ministering through music and growing, you know, um, they asked us to give a word. Right. And through a couple of words that I gave, you know, you, you get promotion, this, this, and... Um, then God, you know, told him to make me an elder, mm. you know, mm. and um, he was trying to make me an elder for for the music ministry, not an elder for the word. Right. But it came out that, you know, I was been blessed. God given me, you know, a couple of words to Amen. to deliver. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And we thank Amen. God for that. Amen. Amen. I thank God all the time. Amen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And, and that's awesome, um, you know, such a blessed ministry, you know. Um, and you just, you know, as you continue to stay in position, you know, I know the fiery darts do come. Yes. You, you know what I mean? And uh, what do you do to, to, to fight off the, um, the, the, the attack? Uh, it's, it's, it varies from time to time. I have a still have a, a prayerful wife 
Amen. Cool, cool Amen. corner Amen. me, you know. If, I, if, if she feels I'm I'm going too far left, she she'll take her arm and put it around my neck and uh, say no. <laughs> you know, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Ever so lovingly. Ever so lovingly. Ever yes. so lovingly. But um, <laughs> you know, um, she's she's my she's my rock. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, mm-hmm. She's always there for me. She's always she seems to know when I'm going or when I'm getting down, you know, um, when I let her in. Sometimes, you know, the enemy tells me to push her away. and um, But she's still there. Amen. You know, she is my rock. You know, um, we are truly one, even when I try to fight it. Even when you try to be two. That's right. That's right. Even when you try to be two. Huh? Yeah, you try yeah, to be two. I try to be two, you know. It's only one. And, um, you know, um, I, I truly thank God for her because um, she is truly a minister of the word. Amen. And um, she not only ministers it outside the house, but she ministers it, even though, you know, Everybody in the house fights her, you know, and you know, but she still she she doesn't change. Mm-hmm. She's one way, and and you know, and and um, I know at some point I should be the rock, but she's there for me, and mm-hmm. she's there for my family. She's mm-hmm. is, she is there. Amen. 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 A lot of times in life we go through different things and so yes. we have to thank god for the ones yes. that can stand when when we get when weak. we get weak you know what i mean so we're, we're thankful that your wife stood in place amen you know, to, amen you know like they say hold it down for you when, <laughs> that's when what they you say was, when you was getting a little bit weak there or a lot of it weak however you want to say it. Mm-hmm. you know now I, you talked about uh sitting and talking with your children and i know that you know a lot of times to our children we want to appear to be like superman you know but your children had watch you go through a weak point in your life mm-hmm. how, how did because i know there's somebody out there listening that's going mm-hmm. through this right now right and they're sitting whether it's a man or a woman they're sitting outside their house somewhere wondering how can i get back in can there? I that's right how how can i you know address these people that i let down how how, how did you approach that the the way to to deal with it is not to get so ashamed of it that you you totally block it out. If there's someone that you hurt, um, um, it's it's better to to open it up and and talk about it. Dialogue. You know, yes, die, the communication is awesome. is very high on it on on the totem pole with this. Be real because the people that you hurt, they all all feel like you just pushed it to the side. Right. Mm-hmm. If you don't talk to them about it and 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 clear the air, they're their hurt is still there. Even if they don't bring it up to you, mm-hmm. their hurt is there. So you need to go to them, talk to them, and let them know, you know, um, that you're feeling the same way. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and as far as with my my children, I had I felt that I had to, even though at some points, um, you know, at some points my wife didn't be- agree with me, but I wanted my kids because um, the first time I saw my oldest son, he said he wanted to fight me, hmm. you know, and talking to him. He said, I wanted to fight you. I wanted to beat you up mm-hmm. because of what you did to us, right. mm-hmm. you know, and you want to clear that air. You don't That's need right. that That's air right. to be that thick That's in, right. in, a, mm-hmm. in a household. Mm-hmm. You need to clear it. And um, me and my oldest, me and my, all of my children are very close right now. You know, um, now that um, I'm getting a little bit older, you know, they're, they're very mindful of, of me. Mm-hmm. You know, they watch me. If I get sick, they're there. You right. know, there's no, there's no bitterness in my family because we're open and we can talk about anything. Mm-hmm. And I tell them, you know, if you're going through, I don't care what it is. You know, you come and you talk to me, you know, because if I can't help you, maybe if I can't find the solution, we, you know, we can work it out. Mm-hmm. Right. We can, you know, we can, you know, we can pray about it. We can do whatever we need to find out what it is. And um, pretty much all of them come to me. They will mm-hmm. come to me and they talk to me. Mm-hmm. And I thank God for that. 
Awesome. I commend I commend you. I envy you. I think what you did was great when you talked about you talked about the hurt. That's but right. not only did you talk about it, but you allowed them to talk yeah. about how they felt. That's right. Mm-hmm. And I and I think a lot of people that's the part that they're afraid of is I don't want my, I don't want to hear from my child that I hurt them because right. Right. that will hurt me. Mm-hmm. But the fact, but I believe the fact that you opened up the door mm-hmm. and that you sat back, not sat back, but you listened to what they had to say, no, open yeah. up how uh, communication. And I think that's the piece that's missing. A lot of people think if they just say, I'm sorry, I was on drugs, I was out of my mind. End of discussion. Yeah. I don't want to hear how you felt, but it's a two-way communication. That is and, awesome. And and I and I and I commend you for that because a lot of people don't allow that little healing piece to take place. And, right. and also, what we don't understand. Yeah, I just want to say something. Oh. I just want to um, say uh, I commend you myself. You know that your family was able to come together, and the most thing that people fear. When it comes to the family member, is judgment. And mm-hmm. you can come to the family member without judgment and come to an understanding because, you know, a lot of people fear that, oh, they're going to judge me here and everything like that, and I can't come to you. But mm-hmm. if you come with open arms with an open heart and come to me without judgment, then we could talk about it and mm-hmm. extend on the family, which is fantastic. That's right. right. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's, right. That's and, awesome. Um, I also, um, even in my childhood, my household was, was pretty open. Mm-hmm. except for certain things, you know. Um, but me and my siblings were always pretty open with one another. Mm-hmm. You know, um, my mom and dad wasn't that open with us, you know, until, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I hear things. But um, they, you know, but me and my siblings, um, I was the baby of five kids. Mm-hmm. And we were open. Even if we beat each other up, we were open mm-hmm. to one another. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm, I like that that openness with everything. Absolutely. And um, when I came back, I just, you know, I just felt that I needed to talk to my children. Mm-hmm. I just felt that they needed to deal with it, you know. And um, I wanted to hear their input especially after I found out that they knew. Mm-hmm. Right? You, you, you right, know, because right. um, that cut me like a knife, you know, um, uh, that they knew what I was going through. Right. I, and, um, and, you know, it, it, it just opened up my family to, you know, to now. And I, I think we're more open because mm-hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know? That is awesome. Yeah. That is awesome because, you see, what you did, was you, you you brought the light in so that the enemy couldn't attack anywhere else. Right, because, right. Because, you know, mm-hmm. if, if you didn't do that, 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 was, that was another way the enemy was going to set up, you know what I mean, for a setback. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. you'd have been trying to figure out why they're so hostile to me. Yeah. Why they're just so, you know, don't, don't you see what I'm doing? I'm doing so well because this happens to a lot mm-hmm. of people who right. get in recovery. Mm-hmm. You know, I got me, I got nine months. Well, you was getting high for nine years. Right. So, you know what, you, right. and you didn't even sit down and talk with me. Mm-hmm. So now, mm-hmm. you know, you want everybody to, you know, hey, listen, you know, let's, let's, let's build, rebuild the bridge. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it took you 20 years to, 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 to tear the bridge down and you want the bridge put back together in two years without communication. So what happens is if you don't expose that, if you don't open up the rest of the, the communication to everybody else, you, you're setting yourself up because you're, I'm telling you again, now I'm five years clean and my kids are still bitter. Right. Why is my wife still talking to me this way? Mm-hmm. Don't you see what I'm doing? Mm-hmm. And then next thing you know, I'm telling you, this is how it sets up. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, uh, well, forget it. Mm-hmm. Forget right. it then. So I'm going to share that to the people out there on ER that's listening and on Facebook. Open lines of communication. Everybody has to heal. That's right. That's, right. that's it right there. Yes. Everybody yes. has yes. to heal. Yes. 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 It's a family that, that that's everyone. Mm-hmm. Everybody. You know, it's not just you. Uh, um, you know, um, for there were times when my kids didn't have anything to eat. My wife was was running around with no gas in the car, with no money in her pocket, and you know, I, it made me feel little when I, you know, when you know, for some reason you think that 
somebody is just going to step in and mm. everything's going to be hunky mm-hmm. you know, I you know, understand. She's all right. Don't even right. worry about it. Yeah. Her, you yes. know, but um, she wasn't all right. And and she had the right to be bitter. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? She had the right to be very bitter. And, Absolutely. and um, I, I, I just really, she doesn't know how much I applaud her for um, the way things went. And I fought through it even through her bitterness because it wasn't always easy coming home. Come I'm going to tell you, it wasn't easy. She was watching me like a hawk. Right. You know, right. um, you, know, you was like five minutes late from the store. No, not it wasn't that bad. But oh, it should have been. It should have been. It's okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's a serious demon. That, that drugs is deep. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, and um, you know, and 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 it was trying. And when you're trying to explain to somebody that's never really been through it, they don't understand what it does. You know, because I'm I've always tried to explain it, what I was going through to her, mm-hmm. and she can't understand it because she never really had the problem. You know, and um, she says she understands, but certain times when I try to explain certain things. She, I can see she doesn't understand. Right. You know, why did you do this? Mm-hmm. I, I cannot explain why I did it. I thought I had it under control. And that, mm-hmm. that, that boy was making me do something stupid that I had no control Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. It's you know, your will. And, yeah. And, and the things that were lost while I was going through it. And um, I could never make it up to her or my kids. But, you know, they're not looking for me to really make it up to them. Right. I thank God for for that, you know, that God give, gave me a true woman of God. Um, and my family are, are beautiful kids, you know, and um, they stayed away. I thank, I thank God that they stayed away from drugs. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, Amen. that they're Praise all God. doing well now. You Praise know, God. they're all, you know, they're, 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 my girls are married and they're starting mm. their, their families. Praise God. Everything's good and they're buying homes. And, Come on now, help and somebody. all of that mm-hmm. stuff. God is good. Come on now. You yes, know, um, yes. And, when, you know, and um, even before that, you know, after when we started rebuilding, how, how God gave us back everything that was, you know, mm-hmm. you know, I, I always thought that was a cliché. You know, mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. everything that's gone, God will give you back and double. Come on. Well, God's given us back and triple. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Help yes. everybody yes. out there yes. on Radio and Land. Yeah. Still blessing us. Come you on. know, I'm still this really real amazed. And you, you asked me, you know, how how did I get here? I have not a clue. Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm and that's still, good that I'm, you don't I'm have a clue. Yes. Yeah. But, but God. But, exactly. but God. But God. But God. But yes. God. And um. You know that's why um that um Ron Winans song really means so much to me. I you know if, if, when when I hear that that song just brings tears to my butt. God, but God, that that's song right. is so deep. Mm-hmm. Come it on. is so deep, and it tells people it, it tells people about everywhere you are, but God. That's right. Mm-hmm. But God will accept you. When everybody else turns Come their on. back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now, that's mm-hmm. what we're talking about. Help when somebody. everything else is going, you know, nobody else wants to forgive you, God will forgive you. That's right. That's right. When you've, you've turned your, you, you've messed up every connection, turn to God because right. he still has time for you. Right. Mm-hmm. He's still there for you. Yes, he is. He says he will never leave you nor forsake you that's no matter right. what it is. His arms are open and ready. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Come on. So, you know. Turn to Jesus. Come on. Amen. There is no greater love. <laughs> than, than that. Come on, Smokey. There is no greater no love. No greater love. No greater love. And love. wherever you are, wherever. no matter where you yes. are, you can turn, you can yes. just reach out to him and, he, and he's there. Yes. Yes. He, he is there and he will respond. Mm-hmm. Don't get caught up in I should have and I could have and I wish I did a and all that oh. stuff. But just call on him and He'll, he's right there the minute you call on him. Yeah. I'm a witness to that fact. Yeah. He's, he, he'll respond right then and there. Amen. And you'll know it was nobody but God. But God. Mm-hmm. But God. Uh, but God. I, I like what you said. That, that, you know, uh, you talked about songs. So uh, Smokey Norfolk got that song, uh, No Greater Love. Mm-hmm. You know, and um, no, every now and then I just play it just because. Just because there is no greater love. Mm-hmm. You know, he is, uh, he is awesome. And what you what you're doing today, and and how you're helping yes. men and women yes. today, like listen, I need for Amen. everybody to understand that 
Don't think that you're too far gone. Don't yes. think that That's you're too right. old. That's Don't right. think that you've been doing this too yes. long. That God is listen, God can't help you. I'm listen. You have to turn to him, yes. you know, and, and, and listen. And don't think that you're that slick, that you're getting over because, you know, you're just that bad. I need to tell you that somebody's praying for you, mm -hmm. you know, somebody's praying for you. I yes, remember, right. you know, I, I, I think I, I thought I was out there and I thought that, you know, because I was just so street slick, street smart. Listen, people, I was covered, mm -hmm. you know, so thank, thank God somebody prayed mm -hmm. for me. So you're still inhaling and exhaling. You have an opportunity. You have a responsibility yes. to step and get the help. That's right. You yes. know, I don't care if 20 bridges are burnt. Yes. God is the bridge that you need. God. And he's the 21st. And he, yes. That's right. And <laughs> that's right. Just, just be surprised in how he's covering you. Yeah. Sometimes you, you don't, you don't even realize. Um, I got to tell you something else. Um, uh, I used to mess around when I was doing my do. I used to mess around at the old Oasis Hotel. If anybody knows about the Oasis Hotel in Camden. In Camden. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just heard about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 hold on. I, yeah, I, I heard about it because, you know, I was young. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I heard yeah. about the old Oasis well, back in the well, day. Well, well, well. Wow. But God. And tell you, but God. This is, and this is a but God story. Um, I went in there one night. Oasis. And uh, somebody told me to, you know, to go over there, and I went in there one night and uh, went there and spent up uh, all of my money. Mm -hmm. and, and they told me, uh, you know, all you got to do, you know, you got a car. Go ahead. Just rent them your car. They'll give you a package for your car. I gave this guy my car, rented my car oh, for yeah. a package. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The package was nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God didn't come back. Mm. <laughs> you sure wouldn't? Yeah. When it got to two, three o'clock in the morning, I'm sitting here looking at my watch. <laughs> I gotta go home. <laughs> <laughs> and uh I had to walk around to the old Greyhound building over there. And call my wife. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Baby didn't carjack my car. We <laughs> <laughs> called the police. The police found my car. Mm. Okay, with the, the guy in it. Okay? Mm. Not smart. Still not smart. I'm, I'm on drugs. I got dumb, drunk, drug brains. Mm -hmm. And believe me, they're really dumb. Okay? <laughs> So after I get my car back, and I get my car back with all of his stuff in it, he, he's caught in Atlantic City with my car. Mm. I goes back next week. Mm, so I goes goodness. back to the Oasis. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Midnight that's, at the Oasis. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that, that's that drug brain. That's that, yeah, that's that ahead. drug that's brain. That's sin. Yes. <coughs> so um, I'm coming in. Now, I'm just walking in. And uh, I'm not thinking. Of course not. You know, I'm I'm just gonna get me a room. And, you know, smoke my little thing, and I'm I'm gonna leave. Mm -hmm. Well, as I, you know, everybody, and if you, well, y'all y'all look like surprised about hearing this, but everybody hung up in the in the lab in the lobby until you came up with a little enough money to go to a room. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the room. I don't even see him, but here's this guy that just got arrested for taking my car. Now, he calls upstairs, calls his buddy, says, come here. Come here, I need my gun. Come here. This is the guy that put me in jail. <laughs> I looked at him now. I recognize him. <laughs> but God protected me enough to let me get out of that building, get my car, and get out of there. Right. Mm -hmm. right. You know, if, if it not had been for God's protection, that guy would have had his own gun. I would have been shot. I would have been dead. Mm. And then, you know, even after that, you know, I used to be scared because I was doing ministry in Camden. Uh, you know, I'm I'm doing ministry. Mm -hmm. I ran the equipment. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you sitting here witnessing with God. What if this guy comes out here? I had the fear that he was going to catch me on Camden Street. Mm -hmm. But never, it never happened. Right. But just to go back in that place and see this guy, it, it, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's experiences, uh, it's, you know. 
it's just something how God covers you. Yeah. Yes. You know, it's just, I'm trying to in tell your you. Foolishness. In, in, in your foolishness. In your foolishness. The importance of family praying for you. Yes. You know, it, it, and, and that's what it's about, you know, um, because here you're telling people how God gave you your 1,000th second chance. Chance. Mm. Your 1,000th second mm -hmm. chance, mm -hmm. you know? That's right. You should not be here. No, but, but you're here because of his grace. Mm -hmm. And his mercy. His mercy. Yes. And that's right. why I want to tell have, somebody. And you want to tell somebody, somebody else. Wow. Please, if you're having problems, call. Come on. Call because we care. That's you right. want to hear, call, please. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. This is this Ooh. is a powerful awesome. this is a powerful show. Awesome. And um I I I appreciate everything everything that you're sharing. Thank you, Jesus. And I just thank you for all that you continue to do. And we're gonna we're gonna continue. We're going to continue with some more uh, of your testimony, but first, but first, we're going to hear a little report from our very own <laughs> Reverend Doris Warner. Okay. This is a commercial. <laughs> I just want to do some announcements for the First Baptist Church of Robbinsville. This Saturday, the women's ministry will be celebrating on Women's Day. All right, now. Um, so come on out. Come on out. Starting at 10 o'clock for a light breakfast. Then we'll have praise and we'll have a message by Stacy Giles. Okay, okay. The co-pastor of Word Deliverance House of Prayer Amen. in Wrightstown, Amen. New Jersey. Amen. And then we'll, after that, we'll have uh, a lunch. What time? After we're finished, <laughs> I'm, I'm not giving the time because the, the Holy Spirit may decide to move. Mm -hmm. That's right. So if the lunch may be after 12. It might be 1 o'clock. It might be 2 o'clock. Give me a call. Just let me know when it's lunch. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I'll ask First Lady to send you a message. <laughs> <laughs> but also I want to say if... For those of you who have been listening to Empowerment Radio, Amen. and unfortunately it costs a little bit of money to be on the air. So if you would like to make a donation for our program or any other program, go to Hamilton Net Radio and go to PayPal and any donation, a dollar, will be appreciated to help go towards the cost of keeping Hamilton Net Radio Christian Station on the air. Amen. Amen. I Amen. just wanna I just wanna add into that that, you know, I think I thank God for them allowing this type of outreach because this is what it's about. We're trying to affect the community. We're trying to make we kind we're trying to make change. Mm -hmm. You know, so any little bit that, you know, and I guarantee, let me tell you, what they receive is going to straight bills and, and and but what they want to do is allow you know Christian Talk Radio to go on not just on Sundays but Monday, Tuesday, mm -hmm. Wednesday, That's Thursday, right. Friday, Amen. Saturday, right. and Sunday. So I'm backing them 100. percent So what okay. you do, get get involved, be a part of this community outreach because this is what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Go ye therefore, Amen. 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 And also, if you would like to visit Robbinsville, we're between. Route 33 and 130 at 22 Main Street Amen. with a little white building. We're, we're not big in numbers, but we have a big spirit That's worshiping right. and praising God. Right. And we have an awesome pastor in hmm. Edgar Schaefer who delivers the word. That's right. Amen. So That's come right. out, hear a word. Amen. Amen. And if you heard something today uh -oh. that has touched your spirit <laughs> That's right. or touched your heart in any way, I just say to you, just like the ER empowerment radio is on, just like you go to the ER mm -hmm. and the do and the doctors there say follow up with your doctor. Come on. I say follow up with Dr. Jesus yes. and he'll make everything <laughs> all on, right. Dr. Jesus. <laughs> and like Pastor Schaefer always says, come and get a take get your gospel. Amen. And everything Amen. will be all right. <laughs> Amen. Back Amen. to you, Pastor. Amen. 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 Uh, we I used to watch a show um, years ago, and I liked it. It was uh, what's his name, Michael Landy's called Little House on the Prairie. Mm -hmm. oh, well, okay. come on over to the little church on the prairie over there, <laughs> little white building. You yeah. come on now, you know. Uh, we'll leave the lights on. You hear? Come on. 
<laughs> but listen, we have love, and we just want to be effective yes. in the community. Yes. Um, uh, a second annou- another announcement. Uh, I just want to share this. Um, you know, as far as reach out to us and contact us because you know we have clothes that we want to we we want to distribute and mm-hmm. we want to give away. That's we right. have medical supplies that um, God has blessed us with to give away, and we're connecting with different organizations. But if you know have you have a family member that's in need. That needs a crutch, a cane, a, a, a walker, a, a wheelchair. Um, we even starting to get electric wheelchairs and medical supply. We have um, what else we have, Pat, uh, Rev? No, I think we got a couple of medical beds. Couple of medical beds. We have uh, nebulizers for asthmatics. Yes. Um, yeah, we have. We have. Yes. Oh, man, we got a lot. And uh, let me tell you what the cost is: zero. 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 You know, uh, if you could just bless somebody by telling them and letting them contact us. Amen. 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 And so we're going to continue this awesome, awesome show. Um, I want to give a shout out to all of our 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 our, 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 our um, co co hosts that are not here right now. You mm-hmm. know, we have Sister Barbara, Minister Barbara Foreman. Mm-hmm. God bless you. How you doing? She's she's home, chilling, relaxing right now. <laughs> Uh, We have Minister Selena Cleveland. How you doing, sister? She's usually behind there, but uh, let me tell you, (laughs) Minister Cynthia Carter is doing an excellent job for you, Selena. (laughs) And, uh, of course, uh, First Lady, Sister Cheryl Schaefer and Olivia, who usually here by our side. How you doing? They're at uh, Insulation supporting another ministry who is getting a new pastor. That's what we do. We're supposed to support one another. Yes, amen. yes, right. yes. Let's stop being on the island ministries and churches. Mm-hmm. Let's mm-hmm. connect. Mm-hmm. You know, let's line mm-hmm. up, let's link up, line up, and let's lead our communities. Um, and second of all, Deacon Foreman, who's usually, uh, you know, he's on second shift now, but he used to be here with us. He's the young gentleman. Uh, 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 he is our awesome, awesome nephew. So, um, what's up? What's up, Deke? <laughs> all right. Amen. Amen. Uh, I hear a phone. Is that mine? No, that's okay. You can um, it, it it'll stop. It'll stop. I don't <laughs> want to stop the uh, live feed. All right, amen, 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 amen. So we're gonna continue on, mm-hmm. and um, I'm gonna talk, to brother Reuben. Yes. We still good for a little while. You're still good for a few more minutes. All right, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you, brother Reuben. Thank you, thank you. All right. Amen. Let's come on. Let's help somebody. Mm-hmm. Oh, how can they get in touch with you? Yeah, dude. With me? Right. With your ministry, with you. Our ministry is um, Fighting for Christian Ministries. It's on in Burlington. 340. 340 West Broad Street. West Broad Street. Mm-hmm. Burlington City. It's awesome. uh, City, upstairs. It's It's the... Upper room. Okay. Upper room. <laughs> with Jesus. Oh, wait. Yeah. I watch too much life. <laughs> hey, I like life. That, that was my show. The upper room. You know, you know, upper room. Yeah. You know the upper, upper room. room. Yeah. <laughs> we on deck. Yeah. <laughs> We're under the leadership of Apostle Pastor um, Deanne Wait. I'm sorry. Elder and Elder Wing. Yes. Man, listen, hold on. Let's give the wife an applause because yes. that's, you know what I'm saying? When you have an she's, awesome wife, she's, she's there. She's still yes. there. She's yes. still there. Still there. God she's is everywhere. back. everywhere. <laughs> God is Amen. back. Yes. Amen. 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 Well, I tell you, I'm going to, um, um, Minister Carter, Uh-oh. how you doing? <laughs> well, for you. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. We got a walk-in caller. We got another one of them walk-in callers right <laughs> now. Walk-in caller. Yeah, yeah. So is there anything you want to say, Sister Minister Carter? I truly just want to give all the glory, the honor, and the praise to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he's Amen. a keeper. Yes. If you want to keep your marriage, he'll keep it for you. Come on. If you want to keep your soul mm-hmm. salvation in him, he'll keep you. No matter what you're going through. Just cry out to him. Give it to him. You know, there's nothing that he's shocked with. He knows everything. He just wants us to come and give him our, he said to cast all our cares upon him because he cares for us. And when we do that, come on. he will respond. He will hear and answer our sincere, heartfelt prayers. Yes, he that's right. He is there waiting for us. He already mm-hmm. knows what we're going through. Yes. Mm-hmm. What he says, ask. 
and it shall give and seek, right. yes. and shall find knock, knock, and it shall be open unto you. That's right. We have a responsibility to go to him, not to carry these cares and these weights, but to go to him. And those of us that have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, we know that we can cast our cares upon him. But yep. those that don't know him in the pardon of their sins, you can have this relationship through faith, through confessing, I'm a sinner in need of a savior. Mm -hmm. And that's all we have to do is realize that we're sinners in need of a savior that mm. can help us. Amen. And that doesn't judge us, just loves us. He died Amen. on the cross for all sin, mm -hmm. past, present, future sins. But he wants us to just acknowledge that we need help. Amen. 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 Yes. Man, that's what you sent around. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Boy, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Good, listen, you get fed. Yeah, yeah, listen. Fire, not only do you feed, fire, you get fed. Yeah, yeah, huh? fire, fire, you don't just fire, feed, fire, you get fire, fed, fire. huh? <laughs> Boy, did y'all feel like that was power that right was, there? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That song. There was power. In the, yeah. name. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yo, thank you. So I, I praise God for you. Yeah. I, I really do. But you know, Amen. she's a, she's Amen. also a mentor for my wife, and my wife always calls upon her minister, minister Carter. And I just thank you personally for always just guiding her and directing her and assisting her in ministry. So Amen. you, I, 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 you know, I, I really appreciate you. Amen. 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 Truly, oh, Pastor, truly. Can, can I say a word? I want to apologize to Reverend Cleveland. I stepped on his toes when I asked you, how do we get in touch with you? Because that's something he usually does. That's so all right. I, so that's I apologize right. for stepping that's on okay. your toes. As long as it get done, that's all that matters. <laughs> that's it. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Done. I, um, I'm going to, uh, brother, if you um, have any other closing remarks after that, I'm going to ask my brother to uh, speak. Uh, the only thing that I would want to say is please don't think that you're going through alone mm. and um, don't think that there's nowhere to turn. That's right. There is some place to turn. That's right. Yes. That's you right. know, Jesus is always there for you. Come on. And there's always uh, some praying brothers that, that are around. If you see somebody on the street and they're, and they're truly delivering the word, please, if you need prayer, go to them. That's right. You know, um, go to them and listen to them. Don't, yes, don't Lord. close your ears. If you, if you, you buy a, a, a Bible-believing church, go in there and give your life to Christ. That's right. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to go into the church to give your life to Christ. You can do that right here. That's right. All you got to mm. do is um, tell God that, you know, you want forgiveness of your sins. And Come on. You, help you believe that he, he died and he rose again. Mm -hmm. And, and you, you know him. And you want him to be the pardon of your sins mm -hmm. and, and say all of that in Jesus' name. In Jesus and name. you'll be saved. And um, then you can go and start doing the things, you know. Um, then you, get, you find yourself a Bible, a Bible-believing church, and get in your word. And trust me, if you pray and ask God to lead you where you need to be, he's going to take you to the place where you need to be in the word. Come on now. Okay? That's right. And then you find yourself a Bible-believing church where you, know, where you can get fellowship and, and come around that way. But don't stay out and saying, I'm going to do it tomorrow because uh -oh. today is the day of salvation. Amen. Okay? Trust Jesus today. Yes. He right. loves you. Come on. He died for you. Come on. He rose for you. Help somebody. This is no joke, and it's no cliche. Thank you, Lord. Jesus is real. That's right. He is real. That's right. Wow. Amen. I want to thank Elder Carter. Uh, but I, I want to turn this over to a partner, co-host, Reverend Cleveland. Amen. 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 Uh, before we get started here, I just want to... Um, uh, give a special shout out to our veterans on Veterans Day. Amen. Uh, yes. You know, we just want to acknowledge all of those who fought for our freedoms and our liberties. Yes. Yes. So we act, we solicit your prayers for, for all of them. Yes. You know, we ask that you continue to pray for the men and women who are serving today. Yes. Uh, they, they need your support. They need your prayers. They, uh, they just need you. That's you know, right. they need Jesus. We need to pray their salvation. That's we need right. to pray for their emotions we need to pray for their mentality some of them are coming back having seen some terrible things and it's That's tough right. dealing with life so we just need to pray their strength mm -hmm. in the lord amen um secondly i just want to remind everybody to tune in tonight 
at 835 for the Get Ready Evening Show. Okay. With Reverend Valerie Granberry okay. and Reverend Cheryl Hampton. All right, now. Um, yes. That's a, a great Amen. show. Amen. Uh, two, two awesome women of God that are doing good things on that show. And, and they, they like to say that that show is a little treat before going to bed. Amen. So <laughs> tune in again at 835 Amen. for the Get Ready Evening Show. Amen. Uh, before we got started here, uh, while we was doing our little behind the scenes thing, um, we made mention that Ruben, our producer, was having trouble getting everything up and running. And so it was said that this is going to be an awesome show because the devil's trying to stop it. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I was I was thinking to myself that somehow or another, the devil is, is trying to stop Elder Carter from giving his testimony. So I'm thinking that, wow, you know, what's going on here? And then it started to occur to me that not only is the devil trying to stop and silence Elder Carter, but there was somebody out there that was listening that needed to hear mm -hmm. what he had to say. Yes, That's right. Yes. And the devil was trying to stop that person. That's I believe right. that person was probably sitting in the car with a bottle of alcohol, some sleeping pills, and a package ready to take themselves out until they heard that there is another way. There is. Jesus. But God. But God. So I believe that somebody got help from what we did here today Amen. From, Amen. From, from, from Elder Amen. Carter's Amen. testimony, yes. but for most of all, the love of God. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Elder Carter said that he was in the crack house and, 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 and he heard people talking about God. <laughs> and that just goes to show you that there is no place deep enough, <laughs> dark on. enough, dirty <laughs> enough that God can't get to you. The Bible yes. says yes. that the earth is God's in the fullness thereof. Yes. thereof. So where can't God go to get those that he loved? That's right. And who doesn't he love? That's right. So on. guess what? You're not too dirty. You're not too bad. You're not. I don't care what crack house you're in. God will help you. God will come get you. Come on. God will save you. Yes. And as he said, accept them. Trust in him today. You know, I'm thankful for all of the wives that stand next to their husbands, the husbands that stand next to their wives when they fall short. That's right. Mm -hmm. When That's we right. take our vows of matrimony, it doesn't yeah, say I vow to be perfect and I never will make a mistake. We fall short. But I thank God for the godly men and women that stick around and pray. Mm -hmm. And we got to remember that it's not just about us when we going through our tough times. Sometimes we got to pray for the healing of our families that That's we right. put them through the, the tough times that they go. We got to pray their healing. That's right. And Elder Carter, he touched on all of that. You know, he 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 just told us that, you know, if it wasn't for his wife praying, if it wasn't for his mother having the ear of a mother, yes. you know, we need that as well. Sometimes people just need an ear, you know, as Reuben, he, he chimed in. He was like, sometimes your family got to understand. Don't be judgmental. That's right. You know, sometimes people won't act because of fear of judgment. But God doesn't judge anybody in a way that keeps us away from mm -hmm. him. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, judgment is reserved for those outside of him. Yes, mm. yes. Mm -hmm. You know, but those inside is nothing but open arms of love Ooh, and grace and yes. mercy. Come on, yes. man. Thank you, Jesus. Constant, constant, constant forgiveness yes. of our yes, sins. Yes. yes. So I thank Elder Carter for his testimony. Uh, I, I, I hope that whoever needed to hear, you got it. You got it. Confess Jesus. You don't got to go to a church. You're going to a church. will help you. Yes. It will help you. But if you just believe in him right where you are right now, right, right there, here. right where you are, he will hear you and he will respond and he will save you. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Here Amen. and now respond and he will save you. Well, it's been an awesome show. I want to thank I want to thank everyone. First, I want to thank you again, Reverend Reverend Warner. I want to thank you, Reverend Cleveland. I want to thank our host, Elder Carter and Minister Carter. God bless you. Yes, yes. You have just heard from the ER, Empowerment Christian Talk Radio. Again, I'm your host, Reverend Ed Schaefer, pastor of First Baptist Church of Robinsville. See you next in two weeks. God bless you. Stay strong. Remember, position, purpose, promise. God bless. Amen. Do it say save?